Karachi, an economic hub, is the largest and the most populous metropolitan city in Pakistan. Serves as the capital of Sindh province. The city enjoys strategic location on the Arabian Sea and it is home to Port Bin Qasim and Port of Karachi, which are among Pakistan's largest ports. According to World Population Review, Karachi has grown rapidly in the last few decades. The metropolitan area has more than 20 million people. Population density of over 60,000 per square mile. This makes Karachi one of the denser mega cities in the world, like Dhaka, Jakarta, Bangkok and Mumbai. The inadvertent mass migration of the people into Karachi over the last few decades has made the city bulge at its seams, beyond its natural capacity, infrastructure and consumption. Today it is believed that more than half of the population of the city are migrants. Like several other mega cities of the world, Karachi has suffered from unplanned growth, posing challenges like water shortfall, planning and management issues. The city is currently receiving only 480 million gallons per day, whereas it needs more than 1,000 million gallons per day. The looming water shortage has further escalated due to less rainfall with frequent dry spells in southern Pakistan, including Karachi in the last 10 years. An absence of rain lasting a few years is likely to decrease the underground water level. And this is what has happened in the recent past. Hub Dam, which supplies water to a large area of the city, had reached its dead level and had dried up due to no rain. Provision of water supply and sanitation services in Karachi is the sole responsibility of Karachi Water and Sewerage Board. It is responsible for planning, development, management and revenue collection and operates under the administrative control of Government of Sindh. The city has two sources of water supply, Kinjar Lake in Tatta district to the east of the city and the Hub Dam, a large water storage reservoir constructed in 1981 on the Hub River, which flows west of the city. The water from Kinjar branches off into three main arteries, which are Cantonment Ordnance Depot, Northeast Karachi and Pipri. Every plant is equipped with pump house and filtration, including chlorinators. The addition of chlorinators have been encouraged and mandated by the Supreme Court, Water Commission and Government of Sindh. Overall, Karachi's water supply infrastructure consists of 156 pumping stations, Twenty-five bulk water reservoirs, eight water filtration plants, twenty sewage pumping stations, over eleven thousand kilometers of pipeline, three sewage treatment plants. and over 250,000 manholes. The Water Board provides water supply and sewerage services to Karachi through 1.13 million domestic connections and 9,317 bulk customers extending coverage to the whole of Karachi. Contrary to popular belief, both Karachi Water and Sewerage Board and Government of Sindh with a mandate from Supreme Court have been making painstaking efforts to examine the water supply system and address issues spanning water supply, infrastructure, finance, water quality and governance. Let's take a look at some of them. Water supply is a significant challenge facing Karachi. With only 50% of water requirements being currently met, according to World Health Organization, Karachi's current water need is estimated at 1200 million gallons per day and expected to reach 1400 million gallons per day by 2020. Of the two sources of water, Hub Dam is an unreliable source as its replenishment is largely dependent that is unstable and not erratic. 
Earlier, the water supply from Hub Dam had come to a complete halt due to the lack of rainfall in the last three years in the catchment areas of the dam. Hub Dam primarily supplies 100 million gallons of water per day to district west of Karachi. Whenever the water supply from Hub Dam exhausts, the city entirely needs to depend on the water from Kinchad Lake, which supplies 480 million gallons per day to the city. After hitting dead level, the water level in the Hub Dam has increased due to some substantial rain this year. This gives a glimmer of hope. If the desired pattern of rain and water level continues, Karachi will fully revive its undependable resource of water. Seeing the impending water shortfall, the Water Board had taken crucial steps to address the immediate and future water need. Dhabiji Pumping Station is considered one of the largest pumping stations in Asia. It was first established in the 1950s. Right now, there are different phases of Dhabiji Pumping Station. Through a network of canals and conduits, more than 500 million gallons of water a day is fed into the city's main pumping station at Dhabiji, operated by the Karachi Water and Sewerage Board. In recent times, the Water Board laid the foundation of a new project to supply additional 100 million gallons a day of water to Karachi from the Dhabiji pumping station. This step has been aimed to bring some relief in the water shortfall. The Water Board launched first phase of K4 project that would add surplus water of 260 million gallons per day to the city in the first phase. It would spread across 120 kilometers from Kinjar to Mangopir. This project was meant to provide bulk water of 650 million gallons per day to Karachi when it gets fully completed. The Water Commission has ensured a timely completion of the K4 project. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board has initiated the rehabilitation of filter plants and water testing laboratories, chlorination and upgrade of bulk pumping stations. The water testing laboratories have been made functional with modern equipment at six filter plants. 35 plants for chlorination of drinking water at different filter plants have been established and operationalized to ensure supply of chlorinated and disinfected water throughout Karachi. The work on upgradation of existing water filter plants have started in mid of January 2019. The upgradation of Pipri pumping station is completed and the renovation of Dhabeji pumping station is under process. Water theft is another misery adding to the already looming water shortage. Water theft mostly occurs through installation of illegal hydrants and water connections by fraudulent parties like the unlicensed tanker mafia. The Karachi Water Board supplies 480 million gallons per day to the city but by the time it travels a transmission route of at least 120 kilometers and reaches the city, it is reduced to 400 million gallons per day as it is either stolen or lost in leakages. In an effort to control illegal water tapping, the Water Board introduced amendments and launched a serious campaign to discourage illegal hydrants and has dismantled more than 100 illegal hydrants since 2009 and now only six legal hydrants are working. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board has installed electromagnetic meters on all of its bulk water supply sources, including the six licensed hydrants. It monitors volume of water released from each source. Karachi Water Board has launched an online tanker service with regulated and controlled prices. This step has also been taken to combat the tanker mafia, which are looting the common people by providing saline water at high prices. In Sindh province, including Karachi, over 70% of groundwater quality is saline, which is not fit for drinking and domestic use. Several hydrants operating in Karachi are using subsoil water and running reverse osmosis plants. 
Despite a ban on such activity by the Supreme Court, this is causing subsoil water level to lower beyond the required safe levels. Meanwhile, use of polluted subsoil water is causing outbreak of several waterborne diseases such as hepatitis C and skin ailments. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board has developed a legislation to control unlawful water consumption of subsoil water to industrial entities through pipelines which is approved by the cabinet and put in place. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board has a large workforce of more than 12,000 employees across Sindh. Recently, it has taken an initiative to automate its core HR processes to align its environment with universal and local best practices. The objective is to equip itself with an almost seamless information system which reduces time and cost of operation, improves transparency and accountability in HR processes, and develops an environment where high potential workforce is facilitated towards progress. The Karachi Water Board has more than 2.5 million registered customers in Karachi. This includes both domestic, retail, industrial and government consumers. In order to manage a large and complex customer base, the Karachi Water Board has taken a few steps to improve service delivery management and customer experience. Karachi Water Board has initiated a complaint call center to resolve customer concerns, queries and complaints. This was a much needed step. It has launched new website to display all relevant information for all stakeholders and customers. This website will help customers to easily launch and track complaints, will in future help pay their bills online, provide daily water supply pumping status and a lot more. It has launched a mobile app for customers to avail the online tanker service provided by the Water Board. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board are also making an effort to raise awareness among the public through different print and online campaigns to convince them of the urgency to conserve water. In order to increase the outreach, the Water Board feels they need to collaborate with academia and social development partners to educate more people, especially the youth, about the dire need for water conservation. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board understands there is a strong need to transform itself into a modern utility. Turnaround of this public utility requires a complex set of interdependent actions and support from a range of stakeholders, including politicians, employees of the utility and the public. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board have some short and long-term goals in the pipeline with a vision to provide full range of water supply and sanitation services to all users in the city. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board intends to give all it has to complete the first phase of K4 project in the near future, which will add additional 260 million gallons of water per day into the city. The project has unfortunately run into repeated cost overruns, revisions in design, changes in routes and related matters which means the Karachi Water Board has a huge challenge to overcome. On completion, the entire K4 project is expected to influx 650 MGD of water into Karachi. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board plans to install 250 million gallons per day desalination plant in Karachi in collaboration with provincial and federal government to convert the seawater into potable drinking water to overcome the water shortage. It will complete the Greater Karachi Sewerage Plan S3 project 
With this project, Karachi Water and Sewerage Board aims to provide conveyance system for raw sewerage up to sewerage treatment plants at different locations in Liari and Malir Basin of Karachi and treatment of sewerage prior to disposal into the sea. The intended outcome is to protect marine ecology, reduce problems in the Karachi port due to dumping of raw sewerage and save citizens from health hazards. One stage of S3 project, that is, rehabilitation and upgradation is completed. The entire project is expected to be completed by 2020. The World Bank is investing in the Karachi Water and Sewerage Board in a service improvement project, which will be conducted in three phases over a period of 12 years. The total cost of the project is US dollars 1.6 billion. Karachi Water and Sewerage Board will receive US dollars 1.28 billion investment for the project from the World Bank. Similarly, the government of Pakistan will contribute 320 million US dollars to the project. Key milestones of the project would be as follows. Construction of new water filtration facilities. Improvement and priority sewerage network. Launch non-revenue water reduction program. Purchase suction and jetting machines. Launch customer facilitation centers in six districts of Karachi. Construction of new water and sewerage network in 10 slum areas. Launch institutional development program. Upgradation of geographic information system. Improvement of service delivery. With this roadmap, the Karachi Water and Sewerage Board hopes to take one step towards a better Karachi.